Hello everybody, today we're going to do part two where we are using trig ratios to find angles if we are given some side lengths of a right triangle. First thing we're going to do is do a little bit of a quick review on the general concept of, of how we're going to solve these problems. Alright, so just to make this a little easier, we're going to label the triangles if they're not already labeled. Alright, remember we have to identify which angle we're using. So this is the angle we're going to use. These are the three sentences that I want to ask myself. Which side is opposite angle C? That would be the other two letters inside the triangle. So this would be your opposite side. Which side is the hypotenuse? Would be the side across from the 90. So that would be, sorry about that, AC. And that leaves this last side to be the adjacent side, which is BC. We're then going to identify which two sides of the triangle we're using, using the opposite and adjacent, and which one of the three trig ratios we're using. Remember, we have Sokotoa. All right. And this is the one that deals with the opposite and adjacent. So the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Tangent of, take out the theta symbol, put in 34 equals the opposite, which is x. Adjacent is 10.8. Come down my chart to 34 degrees and write the tangent, which is 0.6745. Equals x over 10.8. Okay, we're going to drop a 1 under here. I like when the x is on the top because if I just cross multiply these guys, that's my answer. x is equal to 0.6745 times 10.8, which is 7.2846. Uh, it probably says round of the nearest tenth, so we're going to make this 7.3. Okay, let's talk for a second where this number comes from. We went down to 34 degrees in our table, went over to the tangent column, and we used the decimal 0.6745, or we can use the arc sine calculator in the computer, which I'm going to show you now. Remember, we go to Google, type in arc sine calculator, we want to change this from radians to degrees, and then we just type in the tangent of 34 degrees, and 0 0.6745. Now it keeps on going, but we're just using the first four numbers, just like the table would use. Okay? So now let's go back to our problems. Okay, problem number two. Now let's put some letters on here. A, B, C. We're using an angle C. We don't know angle C, but that's the one we're looking for, so that's the one we're using. So we're going to put C's all in here, right? And this should be getting a lot easier how to label this. Which side's opposite angle C? We're going to write A, B. This becomes the opposite. Which side is the hypotenuse? Okay, A, C. And that leaves us B, C to be the adjacent. Okay, it gets very mechanical. Identify the two sides we're using. Adjacent and hypotenuse which one of the trig ratios is the adjacent and hypotenuse. Take a look at your notes. It's the cosine ratio. Cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Now this is a little different because we're looking for the angle. So we're saying cosine of theta. Usually we take the theta out and put a number in, but we're not. We're just putting in x right now. Notice we're still leaving this in there. Okay, So we would put in 14.3 divided by 18.7. So we have to actually do that division now. Okay, So 14.3 divided by 18.7 is 
point seven six four seven. Right now we're doing the opposite of the previous procedure here. Okay, I have the decimal. I have to go find out what angle that is. So I come down the cosine column. Remember the cosine column. This is just a little screenshot of a port part of the chart. 0.7647, well there's 0.7660, that's somewhere in between here. So it's somewhere between 40 and 41 degrees. But it wants it to the nearest tenth of a degree. Okay, so we're going to say that X is about 40 degrees. All right now on my calculator, I can hit the second button. I can hit the cosine button. Now when you hit the second button and cosine, it does this. And I then type in 0.7647 and it pops out an answer and it pops out 40.1194 and keeps on going. All right, this wants it to the nearest tenth of a degree, so I'm going to go with 40.1 degrees. And that is what I would enter. Okay. Now let me show you how to do it on that arc sine calculator. Okay, so here we are. Clear this out. You want to make sure you're on degrees. You want to hit this inverse. That's like hitting the second button. Inverse cosine. And then we type in the decimal that we had. 0.7647. Hit enter, and there it is, 40.119. We don't worry about all this stuff, okay? You're going to the nearest tenth, 40.1 degrees. Okay, let's try problem number three. Okay, problem number three. See if you can set this up with filling all this out. Hit pause, come back and tell me how far you got. Okay, problem number three. See if you can fill out these sentences, label this, and decide which trig ratio you're going to use and get done as much as you can. And then I'll take it from there. Okay, glad you're back. We're using angle N. So I'm putting an N in here. And which side is opposite angle N would be MO. So we're using the opposite here. Which side is the hypotenuse? MN. Okay. Now, if you've already realized that you're using the opposite of hypotenuse, you don't really need that third question down here. Okay, you can fill it out if you want to, but you don't really have to. We've already decided which one deals with the opposite of hypotenuse. That's going to be the sine ratio. All right, so we're going to start filling this in. Remember, we take out the theta symbol and we put in the angle number, but I don't know the angle number, so I'm putting in X. I still have to leave this written there. And then I'm going to put in 4.2 divided by 8.1. So the sine of X, 4.2 divided by 8.1 is 0.5185. I've got to come down the sine column, which is the first one. And I'm looking for 0.5185. Now you should know that you're not going to find this exact decimal, but 0.5185 is somewhere in between 31 and 32 degrees. Okay? They want the nearest tenth of a degree. If it just said to a whole, you'd say like 31 degrees. So on my calculator, I'm going to hit second, sign, type in the decimal. Hit enter, and my answer is 31.23 degrees, but we're just going to enter this in because it says round to the nearest tenth. So let's go show you on the arc sine calculator again. So we're going to clear it out from our last problem. Make sure it's on degrees. We're going to go inverse sine. That's like doing second sign on the other calculator. 0.5185. Hit 
hit equals, and there it is, 31.23 degrees. Okay, let's try our last problem. All right, here is our last problem. So see if you can fill this out, decide which trig ratio you want to use, get as far as you can, then come back and check your work. All right, glad you're back. Here we go again. They use a letter X in that problem. I hate when they do that. Which side is opposite angle X? It's going to be WY. So we got opposite. Which side is the hypotenuse? Which leaves this to be the adjacent. Circle the two sides you're using. We're using the adjacent and the opposite. Which ratio deals with the adjacent and the opposite? That's going to be tangent ratio. I always write the formulas down. Try to do as much as I can. It's very mechanical. Take out the theta symbol. Put in the angle. Don't know the angle. I still need to have this there. Opposite is 4.4. Jason is 9.3. Tangent of x is equal to, now what's the decimal for that? 0. 0.4731. Come down which column? The tangent column, which is the last column. Try to find 0. 0.4731. Looks like it's in between these two numbers. So it's somewhere in between 25 and 26. So on my calculator, I hit my second button the tangent button. You should try this on your calculator. If you have one, type in 0.4731, hit enter. X is equal to 25.31 degrees. Okay, but this just says nearest tenth of a degree. So I'm going to show you how to do this on the arc sine calculator. Okay, here we are. Clear this out from the last problem. And we are using the tangent, but we know the decimal. We're looking for the angle, so we do second tangent. Type in the decimal, 0 0.4731. Hit enter. And there it is, 25.31 degrees. And we're just going to use the first decimal place. So I hope you found this video informative and useful. And good luck on the problems. We will see you on the next video.